Hey everybody and welcome back to Hatch 2.0. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we're going to work on a couple of the new features and things you can do with the outlines and offsets and I'd like to show you guys this cute little border design that I made and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make. So it really is easier than it looks, but I think it looks beautiful. So let's quickly digitize it. Now, all I did is I started off with digitize open shape, and I'm just gonna make this one just a little wavy. So I'm right clicking. Um, you can make it a little wavier than that. Once that's done, close up your digitize tools and go to the create layouts. And we want to go again to the create outlines and offsets. Now I have it set. I just left the offset at default. You can change that if you want. Offset count is three and I'm going to leave it on single run and the color doesn't matter. And I want the corners to be round so we can have this nice curvy look on it. So click OK and there we go. That's easy enough. I am going to delete the original line. I am going to to select the second line and I am going to make it a fill and I am going to make it to Tommy first of all I think actually we'll make it satin now the thing is with the satin stitch it doesn't look right until we go to edit objects and we add our stitch angles now this one isn't very curvy but you make the stitch angles so it goes it turns smoothly is the idea so hit enter you can see how pretty that is now i have that just on a different fill let's go to effects oh that's why okay so we have our satin stitch just normal satin stitch and we've got this outline and we've got the further one so we'll get back to this part and we're going to go to this one and we're going to change it to a motif now that one looks okay except for kind of weird down at the ends what i want to do is go to black work 2 and i picked this one and i thought wow that looks fantastic just like that so i'm going to change that to red so it matches and i left the last, the last one, you can kind of see at the last offset, I changed it to a different color and look how it looks. I think that's really neat. I would like to move the last offset up and over so it stitches out underneath. But isn't that pretty? I changed it to black and I thought it really stood out really well. So you can see that you can really make some fancy designs. But let's talk about this middle part here. And I'm going to zoom right in so we can see. Let's go to effects and we are going to click on the, let's see where it is the elastic embossed fill. Now I'm not very curvy, but I'm going to show you guys what to do. Let's see multiple rows with scaling. So many options for this. Let's go for single rule and everything will change. So you can see. And if you look over here under pattern, right under the elastic embossed fill, you can see that they've all changed. And it, because we selected single row, now you can do single row with scaling. And if, but look at all these designs. Look how many choices you have for the designs. And I think they look amazing down the middle. So I wanted to make my satin stitch a little fancier and I wanted to make it look a little more lacy. And I think I've done that with just a few clicks. That is awesome. So isn't that pretty? It almost looks like lace, but it isn't. Um, I have had so much fun with this. The possibilities and the combinations are absolutely endless. So you could really make some cute designs. So I'd like to show you guys a little bit more about the elastic fill because this is only one way of using it and it's not really the elastic -y part that I'm looking for but it's really nice to be able to change it to a single row. I think it's fantastic. So let's go to digitize and this is really going to show it off. Let's make a circle and hit enter 
and it's on ripple because I was playing around with the ripple stitch because that is also fun. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can play around with it. So we can make it to Tommy stitch and I still have the elastic on. So let's take that off. So to Tommy stitch, not very exciting at all, is it? Let's make it elastic fill and I'm going to change the color. So the difference is look how they're smaller and they're bigger in the middle. And I think it's a brilliant effect. I think it changes a lot of things. I think it, it gives you a lot more possibilities. So let's check it out with another couple of these designs. What do we have? Patch six. Look at how beautiful that is. And it curves them around. So you can create simple objects that have a lot more interest. And honestly, it looks like you worked really hard on this. And I think that's really cool. I think that really has a nice effect. Now you can change a lot of things there are so many settings so look at this one isn't that beautiful I think that would be so gorgeous stitched out so you can do a whole bunch of things with it now you can change the column and row spacing and that is going to change how all of this looks on the inside you can also go back to your single row and uh, look at that it's not really doing the elastic thing but isn't that cool? <laughs> I could think of a lot of things to do with that. Look at that. That looks like it's split down the middle. If you did an egg shape, that's all you would have to do for that. And now again, we can see what they look like down the middle so we can play around with them. I kind of like these circles too. They almost look like crop circles. But wow, you can really get into some detail work with this without actually doing much in the way of detail work. And I really think it's neat. So, so far, so good. Single row with scaling. So what that means is you can see, it's hard to see, but hopefully you could see when it changed. So we have the single row and the scaling means it's smaller and then it goes bigger and then it goes smaller because it's a circle. Let's see if we can illustrate it better. That one does it a little bit better. Isn't that cool? Multiple rows just puts a whole bunch of rows in it. Now that doesn't constrain it or change it. So we want multiple rows with scaling. And look at this, just a simple look. So if you go through and you change some of these settings, you're going to have a completely different look. Now already I'm changing it and it looks different. Um, that's the width of the motif. So I'm gonna move it back a little bit. Indent, you can change how far in it goes. How about columns? So columns of this, columns are this way, rows are this way. So let's go and make, how about the rows bigger? And if you don't know which way it, it works, just click on it. You can always undo and go back, but you can see it's completely different. Now look, that's, that is different. Let's try it. Oh, see now I love this one. I think that is fantastic. So play around with fancy designs, play around with offsets, play around with the elastic fill. Isn't that amazing? And you can come up with really, really cool designs with just a few clicks. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this. I hope that it has inspired you guys to come up with some different ideas with some of the new features in Hatch 2.0. So thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.